Yo, my name is Johnny Motherfucking Mac. This is 50.com. Make sure you stay tuned to this. This shit is crazy funny. You're going to love it. Lots of shit. Proper shit. I bought the proper for the dealership. Got the shit. Rich, rich nigga. Six figures. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, Johnny Mac? Johnny Mac, man. The what legendary up? one. Yeah, I am a legend. I never drove a legend. I just want to come out and represent California. I'm 19 and 1 in the ping pong right now. What? Killing all the wildin' out I'm whooping niggas like slavery. Word, word. Word. Now, what are you doing here on, on the wildin' out uh, set, man? I'm a writer, man. Um, I work with Nick on Real Husbands of Hollywood. I write on that show, and I rent for Nick on two other occasions, and he finally hired me after 10 years. He finally hired me to do wildin' out. It's crazy. Word, word. So did you always want to be on wildin' out? Did you nope. Buy? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I like scripted shows. I like working for networks. I'm a union writer. Uh, this is like four times under my pay. But I love Nick Cannon. I love Niles Evans. They put me down. I wasn't doing shit. I came out to represent California and make sure I write some great jokes for the great commenters on this show. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yo, Jenny Mac, man, can you tell them your background when you first started writing, when you knew you was a writer? I came to L.A. as a stand-up comic. I was doing stand-up. I met this famous dude on the beach. He liked my stand-up. He took me on the road. And like 96, I started going on the road with him. And then I got my first gig with the Jamie Foxx show as a writer in 1996. Mm -hmm. That's what I met now. Is that Marcus uh, Collier? Marcus King. Marcus, Marcus King, King was an EP, Bentley Kyle Evans. And they gave uh, they gave me a shot. But the funny thing about that is at the time, I was on uh, parole. So I would have, I would have to you leave. You killed somebody? No, I didn't kill him. <laughs> we get into all that later. Okay. I, I was like... They gave me a shot, so I used to like go back and forth from um, L.A. all the way to uh, Oakland every Friday. Then it, and then the Fox said, yo, where you, why you keep leaving every weekend? I said, yo, I'm on parole. I got to go back here and piss every fucking Friday. He called my parole officer. I ain't had to piss or go to parole ever since. Get out of here. Yep. Jamie Foxx looked out like he looked like out that. for your boy, and I've I been on the roll ever since. Stay Word. loyal to Jamie Foxx. All props to Jamie Foxx. Without him, I might still be using a triple beam. What would you say has been the highlight of your career, dog? Uh, we was on tour in 07 after Fox won the Oscar. We was on tour in 07, and I got a chance to be on stage at Madison Square Garden. You was you did stand up? Yes, sir. On? Yes, sir. Started as a stand up man. I started stand up like in '91. Was that always the goal of yours to be on uh, in Madison Square Garden? No, actually, when I came to LA, I thought in 30 days I'd be rich and famous. Like, yo, they ain't never heard these type of jokes. I've always been considered good looking. Mm. My hair was always great. So I'm like, they see me in 30 days, I'm gonna be rich and famous. Didn't work out that way. And my, my, my turning point of my career was, was the same cast said, would you rather tell them jokes or sell them jokes? I'm like, shit, how much the jokes cost? I give $1,000 a joke. I, start, I wrote like four pages with like 30 jokes on them. I wrote so many jokes, they said, you know, we're just going to hire you for the Jamie Foxx show. No more money for me. That's what happened. Get the hell out of here. Yep. That's what happened. Now, what do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy being a stand-up more, or do you enjoy being a writer more? Uh, it's both the same. You know, all I can do, like, I get a joy if I can write a joke that you can tell or somebody can tell on that TV set and get a roar. That's just the same joy for me as being on stage. Mm. The difference is stage, you get instant gratification. You gotta write that joke, you gotta wait three, four months, and then you gotta hope it hit, then they gotta show it, and then you gotta hope it hit again. But writing is more, the greatest thing about writing is you get those residual checks. Mm. From the writer's guild, they got the green envelope, but the same color as the Sprite bottle. When you got that green envelope coming in the mail, you got some free money. Dub C, baby! <laughs> man, if I had known y'all was coming, man, I'd have been sagging a little further. <laughs> It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So, would you say you a millionaire off uh, of uh, comedy? Period. Uh, I would say writing. Our ultimate goal. What, what, what's next for Jamie? Uh, I sold two movies, and I got another one up at a studio right now. I sold a movie. We're gonna independently shoot in Atlanta. I, I sold an uh, animation. Uh, what well, uh, uh, Oscar winner is the number one character. So those two things are being produced right now. We have 2015, and uh, I just need one of them to hit. Mm. Yep, and I'll never come back to this bitch again. Best advice Johnny Mac ever got and who did he get from? Marcus King. What did he say? He said, never go with the first joke you think about it. Always get into the underbelly. If you're on stage, somebody in the third row shouldn't have a better joke than you. So ever since then, I like, you know, because a lot of times you see comics, 
do the first joke. A lot of comments are still in jokes that I did on Fox or Radio. You know, they think I don't know, but I remember I did Fox for like five years and they still rerunning it. And now you telling that joke. I don't I don't get down with that. So the best joke, the best advice Marcus King gave me to dig into the underbelly of comedy. What's the joke nobody else is gonna think about? What's that joke? What does it take to be a great comedian, man? Uh, they, uh, 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 Bob Hope. They once asked Bob Hope to, to describe comedy in one word. Comedy is mean. To do be a great comedy, you got to be fearless. You got to be ferocious. You got to have this dedication that you got to be willing to get booed and come right back the next night. So comedy to me in one word is fearless. Mm. Hey, it's a, a motherfucking genius, up. boy. Shout out to everybody got a GED. I know mine's under investigation right now, but I still got it. We'll talk about that later. Word, word, word. Is there anything you want to say to disappear.com before we get out of here? Hey, man, thanks for having me, man. Good looking out. Make sure y'all watch uh, Wildin' Out. You're going to see some great comedy. You got to love and respect it. Nick Cannon is awesome. Hey, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something. You got to be, man. Jenny Mack, man, superstar writer. We open, we out of here. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Yep. Whole lot, why, whole lot,